now we will discuss newton's laws of motion so newton's first law of motion see in this case if any object is at rest it will remain at rest if any object is in uniform motion it will remain in uniform motion unless any external force is applied on the body that means on the object maybe that is a we can say any external unbalanced force applied on the objects so newton's first law of motion is very simple to understand so now let us do its statement proper statement we can write here now the statement now see statement of the newton's first law of motion you can see proper statement here but we have discussed already what is newton's first law of motion now from this statement we can see if any object is at rest it remains at rest if any object is in motion it remains in motion unless an external force is applied now see this can be also refer for the inertia so now we will do next topic here related to only this law under this law we can say inertia what do you mean by inertia see inertia it is the property of a body by virtue of which it opposes any change in its state so inertia is the property of the body by virtue of which it opposes any change in its state itself see here that means it has tendency to oppose any change in it itself for example if you have got any object here this is a, any surface any object you have taken here if you want to move this object you need to apply force you have to apply force this side as you apply force this starts moving to this side but why do we need force because as you apply force there is a one more force acting between the body and this surface that force is actually referred as force of friction so because of this force of friction body has tendency to change its position here to change its any change in its position so any other another example you can take like uh, you might have seen when you are sitting in a bus and bus suddenly starts how do you feel if you are sitting in a seat you feel jerk backward if you are sitting in a running bus and suddenly driver applies a brake you will find you will, you will feel jerk forward what does it happen another example if you are sitting in a car and car is taking a turn in a curved road you will try to go away from the curve that means outward what does it what does it happen because of inertia so we can categorize inertia in three ways but first we see inertia here basically it is a property which depends on the mass of the body so we can write here also inertia of a body depend depends on mass of a body larger the mass larger the inertia there are three types of inertia we can write here types of inertia first one is inertia of rest second one is inertia of motion third one is inertia of direction so as i have given just example of inertia of rest suppose if you are sitting in a bus which is at rest and as bus starts moving suddenly you feel jerk backward what does it happen because 
as the bus moves forward your body touching the bus comes into motion in forward direction but upper part of the body which is not touching the bus which is not touching the seat actually that tries to be at rest because of that lower part goes in forward direction and upper part remains at its own place and as a result we feel jerk backward inertia of motion if the bus is moving suddenly brake is applied the bus comes to rest and your part of the body touching the bus touching the seat comes to rest but rest part of the body that is head that tries to be in motion in forward direction as a result we feel jerk in forward direction inertia of direction if you are taking suppose uh, turn in a curved road so your tendency to be in a straight line but as you are taking turn so you try to go in a straight line as a result you try to go away from the curve and yani that means out of the away from the center of the curve so these all these examples of inertia of rest inertia of motion and inertia of direction you can do these activities very simple activities suppose you have taken a glass here glass tumbler you take like this and here the water is fell you place here a cardboard and place a coin over here if you pull this cardboard very fast you will find this coin fall into the water because you know this cardboard comes into motion but coin tries to be at rest because of that inertia of rest it falls into this this uh, glass tumbler another example you can take suppose if you are shaking your shirt it's very simple example dust particles comes out what does it happen because as you shake your shirt or you may take your carpet and if dust particles are there so as you shake it what happens shirt comes into motion but dust particle tries to be at rest because of that they gets detached from the shirt or from the carpet so these are the examples of inertia of rest and see inertia of motion another example the people are not advised to jump out of the moving bus if they jump out from the moving bus what will happen they because ground is at rest as their feet touches the ground suddenly it comes to comes at rest but the rest part of the body tries to be in motion as a result the person may fall down so that's why the person is not advised to jump out from a moving bus so these are the different examples of inertia and try to find more examples where you can apply all these concept now we will come to the newton second law of motion